Hey guys, I'm back with Emily Page from Pearl Resourcing. And uh, today we're gonna talk about the importance of designing packaging with shelf life in mind. Obviously for food service and uh, grocery related uh, products. So uh, first, why is it important? I mean, this might seem obvious, but you know. <laughs> it's really, obviously shelf life is important for two reasons. One, you want your consumer to be able to purchase the product mm -hmm. and actually enjoy it before it goes bad and has a funky taste or a funky appearance. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you leave a terrible impression on them and they want to get their money's worth. So you want to serve your customer by having great shelf life. And number two, because logistics takes a long time. You have lead times to manufacture product, you have to package it, then you have to ship it in a truck, then it's got to get on the shelf at the grocery store. Okay. And so there's actually this need that you have to preserve your product from the moment that you manufacture it to the point where a customer even could possibly purchase it so and, and shelf buyers life. feel more comfortable if it has a little bit longer shelf life yes. because it's more selling opportunities correct? yeah they don't want to risk yeah. losing product either and so it's in service of everybody in the whole supply chain getting to the point of sale is thinking through your shelf life and trying to find a strategy that can maximize and optimize that Ideally, without adding chemicals that could be harmful to the person who's consuming it or that just isn't natural or safe. So, okay, so how can you do that with packaging? That's what's so cool is that packaging yeah. can be a way that you can avoid using chemicals. So, mm -hmm. one of the first things that, uh, that packaging can affect is the type of machinery that you can use that will allow you to get better shelf life. So, with things, fresh foods like salads um, and other, other things that can kind of go bad quickly, you can use something called gas flushing. So if you have a type of material that is non-porous, like plastics, you can flush the product with gas, which removes, or like with nitrogen, that removes the oxygen so okay. the product doesn't corrupt. Gotcha. Awesome, packaging allows you to do that. Number two, you can use something like a cryovac, which sucks, the, because of the plastic and the way that you encase the product, mm -hmm. you can suck all the oxygen out of there okay. so it doesn't actually so yeah, oxygen that. is the enemy when it comes to it these is. situations. Okay. Yeah, for bacteria. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's really helpful. Like string cheese and a lot of meats, mm -hmm. um, you'll see them in those like plastic yes, peels. Yes. That is um, cryovac. Yeah, you can have a you can have a semi rigid or you can have flexible versions gotcha. of that. Yeah. You have to have machinery to be able to do that. So either you as a factory need to purchase it or you need to have a co-packer that has this capability. Okay. But it can add shelf life to your product. Mm -hmm. um, and then the last thing would be, you know, making things like non-translucent so that you don't have exposure to light. Light actually, okay. as wonderful as it is, it also corrupts products. And so having something that either has different layers within the plastic, so... So, not, life, so, so not opaque, not but opaque. It is, you know, because you def it's really important to see the product, and yeah. especially with food, but non-translucent, what is involved with that? Yeah, you, you can have different layers of plastic uh, where you can have metallized film, for example, so there's one layer of plastic, one letter, layer of metal, and one layer of plastic again mm -hmm. to protect the product from touching metal yeah. if it's at all sensitive to that. And it can allow non-permeation of the sunlight as well as, as oxygen, so it helps to preserve your product. It's really simple to do, it's very affordable, okay. um, and they have recyclable versions of that, So. Um, mm -hmm and as well as biodegradable versions, which are way more expensive, which is why they're not so much on the market. But these options are available and really easy to use and can add shelf life to your product. Okay, and this just works for food service too, right? Like the, you, the example we talked about? Yeah, so if you were thinking about like, um, how does this make a difference? Oh, that, I think that's the, the, maybe a fourth version is that uh, case pack sizes. So if your product, you know, if you have chips, for example, when I eat kettle corn, which I'm totally addicted to, I open a large bag and I try to save it so I don't eat the whole thing at once. But if I don't eat it within a week, That's it all goes do. bad. <laughs> I know, it's so hard to do. So buying little serving sizes allows the oxygen to only get into the, the version that I'm opening. Okay. And so um, when it comes to food service, is a great example. We I've made frozen appetizers um, in like large cases and we had plastic bags that you'd have to break open to be able to get into that. And these are stored in the freezer and you yeah. buy huge amounts of them and you serve them at some hotel or a restaurant yeah. and uh, an employee who's rushed who wants to do the right thing but doesn't have the time goes yeah. in opens the bag and loosely ties it back up and then the product ends up being exposed to the oxygen in the freezer yeah. and starts tasting funny or drying out yeah it has that, that refrigerator kind of taste yeah, yeah. okay by adding um individual uh, wrapping around each tray, we're able to eliminate that issue where things don't go bad so much because they're smaller serving sizes. And that means additional packaging, it means a, a little bit additional labor, which can be frustrating or you gotta think it through when you're planning your pricing or planning how you're gonna you pack it all out. But it makes a huge difference for the person who bought it to be able to enjoy it, therefore you get better repeat purchases. So okay. pack size can help. Great. 
All right, well, thank you. If anybody wants to get in touch with Emily, you could reach her at emily at pearlresourcing.net. Uh, we'll have the information in the post. And uh, thank you for joining us. Thanks, Joe, for having me. Okay.